said this to you the other day. I said, there's no way people are donating. This has to be her own money. And you said, no, I think maybe she is raising the money. What they're saying, Celeb Fail is alleging, is that what she probably did was made a $2 million donation to GEM. Or and- less. Or less, and negotiated the rights that she could basically say, look, be strong. This is be strong's warehouse because, I mean, I did donate to you guys $2 million, and they're probably totally fine with it because they want her clout and name too because it probably is getting donations and it's getting clicks to their website. And so they have, in partnership, they don't speak up and go, well, wait a minute, you're taking credit for our work because they probably don't care because they probably just want the money. Not only that, but I mean, for all we know, I mean, Bethany loves to send cease and desist letters. She probably drew up a damn contract that said, like, here, here's your NDA. If I donate this, I'm going to say this. I'm sure it's laid out. No, I mean, I understand. Yes, if you donate to a, a college or a hospital, we have the Barbara Streisand Cancer Center at Sloan Memorial or whatever it is at that the, the Cedar Sinai. There's a Bar- Barbara Streisand's name. I walk by it every morning. Is on the side of the building. Yeah, so you donate enough. I'm sure they're like. Sure, go ahead and do this. All right, so I I see what you're saying. It's a little bit of celeb fail has exposed Bethany as a fraud with the Be Strong charity. I do see the win-win for everyone. Why does it matter? Sarah is very upset with Bethany and is calling her a fraud. Um, I just, we live in this time where- By the way, goes- Bethany, if you send me a cease and desist letter- I'm ripping it up like Meredith Lynch did and throwing it in the garbage. So you're wasting your time. Do not send me a cease and desist letter. Sue me when it says blah, blah, blah versus David Yontef. I will get a lawyer and I will sue you back. If you send me a cease and desist, I am going to rip it up and I'm going to throw it in the garbage because people, I can't repeat it again. A cease and desist means nothing. Go on. I got to stay calm. Somebody wrote them that too on GEM or on um, Celeb Fail said, if I write, if I write something on Bethany's page or GEMs, will she send me a cease and desist? And they said the same thing. She can send even her cease and desist to TikTok creators were fraudulent with no legal merit. She is powerless on this app. All she can do is block you. Correct. David Yontef does not scare. I do not scare. You can sue me and I will sue you back. I would love a piece of your money. She's not going to do that. But don't waste your time with the cease and desist. It's a waste. Um, okay, you, you know, so I, there you go. I'm sorry like, that you're so upset with her. I'm no, sorry. we can move on to the next topic. I, I'm upset with this trend of people being deceitful, whether it's Jen Shaw, Tom Girardi, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith. I just, I just don't know why, like, you don't have like you don't even have to be controversial anymore to get a huge following. Like honestly, if you just said I'm pro Israel and like you just went down that path and you stuck to it, you would gain thousands of followers. Like you don't even have to be deceptive anymore. And yet Bethany, like these people they they take advantage of our listeners and that's what drives me bananas. It drives me bullshit. Because it's like, just be honest. It's like with our ads. We're like, yeah, we know you guys don't want to hear all the ads, but this is our full-time job. Please listen. Please buy from our sponsors. It's how we stay in money. It's how in business. It's how we continue to give you seven shows. We know it's annoying, but we are grateful for you. Like, can't you just be honest? Can't she just say, hey, I'm teaming up with this GEM. I'd love it if you gave money through my link. Um, You know, they're, I, I'm going to team up with them. I'm going to... Puerto Rico. I'm going to Israel. I'm going to Maui. But she leads people to believe that she's created this a, a million, you know, she's raised all this money and she's full of shit. It's a link. Okay. Well, and I do think, okay. So, I mean, I, 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 I get it. I get it. It's a lit. I, I get it. Well, this, thank you for exposing her. And, um, you know, I guess I see my side too of like, it's raising money, but I, but I, I get everything you're saying. And, um, you really have soured on Bethany. Look, Bethany has, um, she's fallen a little bit. She's fallen a little bit from uh, the grace. People are, people are coming for her. Um, well, what people else? are busy yeah. in their lives. They're busy in their lives. They don't have time to like check on these people. They, they take them for face value because a lot of people are just trying to keep their head above water. They, they listen to, they watch Bethany. They watch people like us. I, I hate when people take advantage of that because they just lost a parent 
They tune into Bethany because they want to feel better about something or laugh. And then they go, oh, she's doing this great work. And, um, oh, she has this skinny girl product, which, by the way, is just disgusting. But sure, eat what you want. And, (laughs) yeah, is that what you eat? It's so gross. No. Just It bothers me because you're taking advantage of people you know are at home who don't even have the $10 necessarily, but do it because they love you and they they don't have the time to do all the work that you and I do. And I hate when people take advantage of people like that. It drives me bullshit. I think that's why people like listening to us because we really are honest. I mean, people on my Patreon are always like, I love that you are not team Teresa or Melissa. Sometimes I get accused of being a tree hugger. I'm really not. I have problems with Teresa. I have problems. I see every side of it. And I really have no horse in this race. I think people like the fact that we are just honest. Um, I get your point. I get your point. You know what we also Honestly, need to talk about? Honestly, it doesn't make yeah. you millions of dollars, though. That's the problem. No, it doesn't. You know what we need to talk about? Go on. It's, it's kind of related. And Mary Cosby, is she, is this honesty? Is this just, do we have one of the most authentic housewives in the history? Or is this now too self-produced? Is she now bought into the act? And three, is this producer induced? I don't know. Is Mary being authentic? Does she understand now her role and she's playing it up? Or have producers said, when we bring you back, this is what we want you to do. We want you just to participate in nothing. That's your assignment. Which one do you think it is? Because I'm actually really confused now. Really? Well, you. I just did a whole rant. You talk first. What? Because I don't think she's produced. So I'm curious to th- hear what about it you think is. I, 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 I think it's authentic. I do. I do think it's authentic. I really do. When she's refusing, you know, fish sandwiches from Z-Way and telling Andy Cohn, you know, um, which is brilliant when Andy's like, this caller's asking, why, why did you come back? And she's like, to help you guys out. That is actually brilliant. It, it, it was so good. So, and I love her when she started that interview. She goes, Andy, Andy, you've got to tell me if I'm rude. No, tell, tell me if I'm being rude. And then, you know, they start and he goes, why did you come back? Well, to help you out, Andy. It's so good. But it's the truth. See, to me, I appreciate her. You know, she's getting a hell of a lot of backlash because she fat shamed our girl, Heather. And Heather had a great response when Heather was like, you know, thank you, Gucci, for being so size, for being so body positive or size inclusive. She's like, God, she's it's such a smart response. She's like basically saying, no, bitch, this is real Gucci because I'm thanking Gucci. And if this isn't real Gucci and I'm tagging Gucci, they're going to respond and say, girl, that's fake. And she's basically calling her out for fat shaming and saying, like, if anyone missed this part of it, it was also fat shaming. And that's what got people in uproar against Mary. Um, I thought it was a great response by Heather. Um, no, I, I really do think that it's authentic, but it, it makes you wonder. There's just moments where I was like, is this an act? Look, I think I understand why people are over Mary and they're like, why the hell are you back? If you didn't want to participate in anything, I do think she came back because she was asked and she feels she's helping people out. She also is getting paid for it guys. Um, I love it. I have to be honest with you. I mean, I'm I'm I understand why people I love Mary. I, I really do. I thought that was hilarious what she said to help you guys out. I loved it too the way she treated Z Way. Like, because you know, that's sort of Z Way's thing is like, you know, I know it's comedy or whatever, but calling people out on different things. And, you know, she was Z Way was kind of trying to like, you know, call her out 